Hello, how are you? Hi, hi. Hello, teacher. Good night. Hello. Good evening. How are you? Fine, teacher. And you? Fine. Fine, fine. Do me a favor. Nice. My notebook is on the table. Can you bring it to me? Hi, hi. Vamos a ver. We're seven. Hi, teacher. Hi, hi, hi. How are you? Sad. Hmm? Sad. Sad, sad, teacher. Sad. Very sad. Why? I am in the traffic. Oh, my goodness. No sé si escuchar noticias del desvío de Opico. Ay, padre. You're very far from your house. Dos horas está tirando para llegar a la casa. Mm. Near your computer. On top of your back. My God. You should move to San Salvador, JP. Mira que este día sí que ha estado de loco en el pico. Es que este día ha habido un tráfico horrible todo el día. Pero así, todo el día, desde súper temprano ha habido un tráfico que no sé por qué. Así es, no sé, no sé qué le agarró a la gente, pero sí, ha estado de loco. Everybody took out the car today. <laughs> the helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I know that's an adventure to get something from the back. Okay. Well, para mí entre voy a estar de oyente, teacher. Vaya, David. It's okay. I hope you can get home soon. Thank you. Hello. Hello, hello. Ah, oh, now we're 11. Nice. Nice, nice. Vamos a ver. Do tell me present when I call you. It's a little hot in here. I thought it was going to rain because it started raining a few minutes ago. Well, at about six, it was raining, but but then no more. Vamos a ver, 23rd of August, Adriana Sofia, present. Adriana. Present. Okay. Ana Alicia. Ana. Ana Grisel. Ana Grisel, Ana Grisel, no here. David Alexander. I'm present teacher. Okay. Diego Batres. Edwin Mauricio. Elda Cristina. Present teacher. Nice. Elmer Fabricio. No Elmer. Grace Michelle. Grace. Ivo Marcela. Mm -hmm. Jessica Lisset, José Alberto, Jennifer Elizabeth, José Alberto, Present teacher, Karen Bonet. Present teacher. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Renara. Present teacher. Nubia Zulema. Present teacher. Rebeca Marcela. Present teacher. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Víctor Manuel. Present teacher. 
Cutting is funny. Adriana Marcela. José Alfredo. Ok, bueno. Teacher, present. No sé si me mencionó. José Alfredo, sí, se le pero, cortó pero la no transmisión. Dijo, pero no me dijo nada. Es que no lo escuché, perdón. Ah, okay. <ríe> Porque se trabó. Sí. Vamos a ver. Ok. Tengo un puño de oyentes. Bueno. Pero me voy a apuntar porque eso me sirve a mí para organizarme a la hora de los grupos. Bien. Vamos a ver, David, Edwin, Stephanie, Okay. Bueno. Um, remember yesterday we started talking about prototyping. What is prototyping? Hmm? What is prototyping? Who wants to tell me? Ah. Prototyping includes okay. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Hi, hi, I'm how are you? A ver, what is prototyping? ¿Se acuerdan? Mm? What is prototyping? A model of a, a product to, to the fabric. Mm -hmm. Remember that we said yesterday that the prototype is the model, right? It's the first thing we finish because we're going to use it as a model to create all the things, right? And what comes after is the production line. That's what we're talking about today. We build a film, yeah. Okay. Okay. So we're going to be talking about the product, the vocabulary related to the production line. The production line is what comes after the prototype. Once you finish the prototype, are you ready for? Teacher, sorry. Uh -huh. Tell me, Anna. Digo, Rosy. No, ese, ese ruido, teacher, no dejaba escuchar. Voy a Darth Vader por allí, ¿verdad? <laughs> ¿Verdad que así se oye como que Darth Vader estaba por allí? <laughs> sí. Ok. Ok, Ivonne. Good. Bye. So we said, eh, the production line is what comes later. So uh, first I make the prototype. I want to know all the, the things that I'm going to use in my in my product right and then we go for the production in mass right in mass that means that we want to make a lot 
Well, I'm going to send you right now to work in your groups. Check. Uh, think about the product. Remember, we come with the product that we started talking about the first day. Well, in the first unit, right? The same product. So you're going to work with your group. Think about the product. Go back to the description of your product that you did before. Make a list of the features as specific as possible, right? So give me all the details that you want to include in your product as much as possible. And then think about the materials that you're going to need to create your prototype, see? And then list the benefits of building a prototype of your new product. Questions? No questions? Yes. No. Could you repeat, please, teacher? Okay. Here you have all the instructions. These are all the things that you're going to do. But remember, you have to think about the product. Remember, the, yeah, the product that we are being carrying since the very beginning of the course. The same product, right? Go back, read the description that you have. Pero ahora. Le vamos a agregar the features. See? Because in the description, you told me what you're going to do with your product and everything. Hoy me van a poner in detail. You will make a list of all the characteristics, right? Remember, the features are characteristics. Very specific and detailed, right? The features that you want in your product. If you're going to make a bag, if you're going to make a pair of shoes, what features do you want in your shoes? Be very specific, be very detailed, right? And then what materials are you going to use to create the prototype? Hoy ya vamos pensando en hacer el producto, right? So what are the materials that you're going to use in making your product? And then at the end, remember yesterday, we were talking about the advantages of making a prototype. Do you remember? And we were saying, and we were asking also if all the products need a prototype or not. See, ¿Sí? se acuerdan? Do all the products need a prototype? And you told me, yes, everything needs a prototype, okay? So at the end, you will tell me, let's say three benefits, right? Three benefits of building a prototype of the new, of your new product. Not the other products, no matter, but of your product. What are, the, what are three benefits that you may have of building a prototype of your product, see? So we will think about features, materials, and benefits, see? We have three things to think, list them with your group, and then you tell me. Teacher. Hola. I guess okay. you didn't check my attendance. Did you, Victor. Me, did you tell me present, Victor? Yes, but I, yes, I, I had problems with my microphone. No, but I hear you. Oh, okay, yeah. thank you. You told me present. Ah, yeah, se le oyó como que anda por San Miguel, pero sí le oyó. <laughs> okay, gracias. Bien lejos, bien lejos, bien lejos. Vaya. Um, I'm going to stop sharing here. And we are going to make the groups. Vamos a ver, son como siete grupos ocho, si no me equivoco. Va. A ver, let's see. Eh, number one, Rosy, who are your partners? David, Grace, and Karen, Karen Stephanie. Vaya, Rosy, David. Grace. Y. 
and Karen and Stephanie. Okay, vaya pues, Rosy. David va, David va manejando, oye. Por ahí lo voy a estar ayudando, no hay problema. Aquí okay. hay todo lento en el tráfico. Ok, thank you, Rosy. Digo, thank you, David. <laughs> Karen, Stephanie, no here. Bacha. Ok, uy, espérenme, saber qué hice. Oh, no, esperen. <ríe> qué relato estoy haciendo, Dios santo. Bye. Eh, number two. Eh, Nubia, who are the people in your group? Do you remember? Yes, Victor. Um, Rebeca. Rebeca. Uh, Lizette, Lizette Dayanara. Ok. Lizette Dayanara no está ahorita. She will be listening. But la voy a apuntar porque así ya me queda para la próxima. <ríe> Siempre les pregunto con quién va. Vaya. Estamos bien, Nubia. Víctor. Nubia, Rebeca, ¿verdad? Lizette Dayanara. Perfecto. Bueno, number three. Eh, Adriana Sofía. Ya volvió, no yet. No. Vaya, Diego. Diego, no, Diego no va con nadie. Este, José Alberto. Con José Alfredo, ¿verdad? José Alfredo y con Elmer. Elmer, Elmer no está. Vaya, vaya, entonces lo voy a mandar. José Alfredo, José Alberto y Elmer. Ok. Cuando venga, así, cuando venga Elmer, se los mando. Ok, great. Eh, hmm. Carla, who are the people in your group? Edwin y Karen Janet. Ah, aquí no hay grupo. Vaya, ya le voy a mandar a alguien más hoy. Carla. Karen Janet ya me dijo definitivamente no estoy teacher. Edwin. Ok. Eh, huh. Next, Elda Cristina. ¿Me puede poner en otro grupo como la vez pasada? Sí, 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 le voy a mandar otra gente allí. Vaya, Elda Cristina. ¿No está Elda Cristina por allí? Ivón. Ivón, Ivón. No están. Dice Diana. Microphone teacher. Oh, y yo hablando, ¿verdad? Thank you, Rosy. Vaya, José Alfredo. Que me deshizo todos los grupos. Y Elmer, Elmer, Elmer no here. Ok, Carla. Edwin. Y le voy a mandar a alguien más, porque Edwin no está ahorita. Eh, huh. Elda Cristina, Ivonne, 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 do you have a group, Ivonne? Era uno de llantas, si no me equivoco. Ivonne, hello. Teacher. Hola. ¿Por qué no me pasa para otro grupo? Sí, Carlita, la voy a mover, la voy a mover oh. eh, con José Alberto y José Alfredo, la voy a mandar. 
hoy. Ok, gracias. Bueno, vámonos ahorita, eh, ya vamos a ver cómo están los demás, si tienen o no. A ver. Ana. Ana. Good I'm here. A ver. ¿Con quién es Ana? Hi, good is Adriana Marcela y Adriana Sofía. Ah, vaya, pero Adriana. Well, the group of the last work. Ok, Adriana Marcela no está. Vayan. Ivonne. No here, Ivonne, 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 Ivonne. Ok. Bye. Vámonos, pues. Join your rooms. Carlita, ahí la mandé al room number three. Cheque si le aparece. Check, check if you can see the rooms. No aparece, Carla. Hola. Hello. Hola. Bye, Hi. Carlita. Para el resto de la vida la voy a dejar en este grupo hoy. <ríe> ok. Sí, porque Karen Janet ya me dijo que definitivamente no. Entonces la voy a dejar acá. Y sí, es muy importante, ya no va a seguir tampoco. Vaya. Entonces la voy a dejar acá para que así se pone al día con, con José Alberto y José Alfredo respecto al producto que ellos están desarrollando. Ok, sí, porque nosotros teníamos otro. Sí, pero... Ya regresé. <ríe> okay. ok. Go ahead. Ok. Ah... Eh, um... If you can share, that would be fantastic, Jose Alberto. What? Sorry? If you could share, that would be fantastic. So Carlita can see what you're doing. What you're oh, uh, I can share in this moment. Oh, you can send her a picture so she can know what you're doing. Oh. Para que, que mm. se ponga al día Carlita con ustedes allí. Okay. En resumidas cuentas. Hilda Cristina. Hello, teacher. Hi. Solo usted um, se iba aquí. I'm alone in the group. Oh, my goodness. Do you remember which was your group, Elda Cristina? Eh, Yvonne and Jennifer. Ah, pero Ivonne no sé qué le pasó. Me dijo ya. Uh -huh. Ya me conecté, pero no, no está, no está, no está, ya le voy a escribir a ver si, a ver okay. si se despierta, se me duerme. <risa> no sé quién es Hey.
Ya le escribo, ya le escribo, ya le escribo, ya le escribí. Y vos, what are you? ¿Quién es hey? A ver, ¿verdad? Ah, uh, no sé. No me aparece como hey. Uh -huh. Dice que no oye. Uy, es Marcela Vázquez. Um, Adriana Marcela, creo. Oh, Ivonne Marcela. <laughs> ah, a ver. Um, Adriana Marcela. Adriana Sofía. Y no sé qué le pasó a Adriana Sofía. Who is Marcela Vázquez? Es Ivonne. Ivonne, ajá. Ajá. No está Adriana Sofía. She told me 15 minutes, pero ya no volvió. Vamos a ver. No volvió tampoco. Mire, le voy a traer a Ana para acá. Tal vez okay. hacen uno. This is room number seven. Hi, good evening. Hello, Anna. Hello. Hi, how are you? Sophie told me 15 minutes, teacher. Ay, ya pasaron. No, don't worry, teacher. Don't worry. Okay. I'm just saying because I was sí. alone and it has to be that I have to work, but don't worry. Exactly. But work with work with Elda Cristina, Yvonne had problems too. Uh, I don't know what happened to her. Vamos a ver si me ha quedado por aquí perdida. Y vos, no, se salió del todo. <ríe> Voy a ver, maybe. In, in my camera, it's open, but it's dark because you know what happened. There is no electricity. Ah. Excuse me? There is no electricity. Oriana, <ríe> I know you're active. I know you're there. Bye, okay. Anna. Uh, decide with Elda what to, what uh, product you will this uh, you will use, if hers or yours. Okay. Okay. I I will let you discuss. Okay. Awesome. Bye. 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 Teacher, would you like the vitamins, teacher? Yes, please. For energy. No, esto no es para eso. No, no es para que es. Uh, vitamin E. Oh, vitamin e is for the skin. skin. For skin. And omega 3 is cholesterol. And probiotics. Uh, yes, teacher. That's my bag coming sleep. Pregúnteme y me le he tomado o oh, no. 
Es igual que mí, quizás cuando me acuerdo. No, no and I, I, I have them here. I have them here because like this, when I remember, I take them. Oh. Ah, collage. And this one. Me cuesta a mí, ¿no? Sí. Eh, pues, están, ahí están las tres de, de la de nosotros. No, porque nosotros omega 3, vitamina E y probióticos. Oh. Nada que, como era algo que no, no existía en el mercado, lo combinamos así, nada que ver. Excelente. <risa> vitamin C, omega 3, that's vitamin E. No. Vitamin, vitamin E is skin. Uh, ah, vitamin, vitamin E skin. for the skin. Vitamin uh -huh. C is for taking care of your kidneys and also for the defense. Y omega uh -huh. es for the colesterol, ¿verdad? Sí, triglicéridos y colesterol. Okay. Bueno, más que todo colesterol. ¿Y cuál es para adelgazar? No comer. Ah, ja, 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 ja. <risa> I have no. the medicine, she would say, close your mouth. Oh, my God, no. Mm -hmm. That's so no. bad. Para adelgazar son controladas las medicinas. Mm -hmm. Tienes que estar... Con un médico especialista. Yes, definitely. Better mm -hmm. exercise and diet, right? Yes. Better than, than pills. Si quieres que nosotros solo comemos, no nos alimentamos, es lo que pasa. That's the truth. Solo para en esta, en esta como... vida loca, ¿cómo vas a alimentarte? Es loco, otra gana. No, pero puedes este, hacer tu menú donde pedís la comida. Sí. La, gente, la gente pudiente así es el rico mirando al pobre dos dólares me cuesta mi comida pero me la hacen como yo la quiero fíjate. el rico mirando al pobre siempre ¿no? <risa> yeah that's very important definitely Vaya, pues continue bueno, okay. I, will, I will listen to you the vitamin helps uh, skin and cholesterol verdad y, en de, y el sabor, el favor, el favor es... No, es que la primera, entre las primeras características. Ah, Después okay, vamos okay. con el sabor. Copiado. Uh, King's hair sería, ¿verdad? Yes. The skin care. ¿Cómo se dice piel? Skin. Skin. Pero, pero es, y entonces, pero también la vitamina E no ayuda para las uñas. No, no, no. ese creo que es el zinc. Uh -huh. O la biotina, eso nos faltó poner. Uh -huh. Nuestra vitamina, biotina. You can no. still add it. La podemos cambiar, la podemos cambiar por los probióticos. Para, que... para, para el colágeno que ayuda para las uñas. Y para todo eso. Eh, sí, pero en principal, pa, la biotina. Es pero un poco la gente te ayuda más que todos los tejidos. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y es que las uñas realmente es como hueso que sale de nuestra piel. Un, un hueso más blando. Es como el, eh, los dientes de, la, de una ballena, así son nuestras uñas de eso, de ese mismo. Pero no me acuerdo. Ajá. Como, mm, no, no es el marfil, no me acuerdo cómo es. Pero, ajá, sí, es. <risa> Vaya, the vitamin helps skin care. Vaya, pero entonces esa característica sería como. En cholesterol. El colesterol, ya. Yeah. Skin care. Um, regulate, ¿verdad? Number two. The flavors. The flavors. In lemon and orange. Mmm, delicious. I like the two flavors. Yes. Is lemon. And orange. Pero la vitamina orange, no orange, es de naranja. 
Pero, eh, el, la, vitamina e. la vitamina E no tiene sabor casi no, nunca. No, ah, ah. no, nunca tiene sabor. Ajá. Ajá. No eh, sabe nada. Por eso no, por eso puse solo dos sabores, <ríe> limón y, y naranja, porque la vitamina E no podemos agregarle sabor. Aunque en las gomitas a la vitamina E le ponen así como frambuesa o cereza, algo así. Las Rico. cosas que la vitamina E. La de Procaps dice. Esa cartera ya no te sirve. Ah, no, yo, yo compro una eh, que sea gummy, gummies, no sé qué, pero son de Estados Unidos. Y mm. trae vitamina E y la biotina es lo que les estaba diciendo. Esa, esa cuesta, trae ese sabor como frutos salvajes o frutos fruto silvestres, algo así se llama. Son frambuesa, fresa y no sé qué. Ay, qué rico. Sí, son ricas. I like that. <coughs> Vaya, otra característica. En presentations. Ajá, y no hemos puesto si va a ser en cápsula, gomitas o qué, Rosy. Eso no hemos puesto. Ah, uh, that's part uh -huh. of the fish, oh, yes. Uh -huh. Presentation. Oh. Contenido. Content. Content. How many pills in each box? Sería. ¿Cómo se dice cápsulas blandas? ¿O siempre son pills? No, they are gel. Gel. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh -huh. O so... oh, gel caps. Ajá, uh -huh. gel caps. Uh -huh. Gel caps. Sí, porque la vitamina E tiene que ser gel caps. Yes, that's true. La omega casi siempre. La presentación es gel caps. Another presentation is pills. Gel caps. En cápsula, ¿verdad? En pills, a uh, caps o or pills. En pills, así se escribe, no me acuerdo. No, Doble L. Double L. Pills. Uh -huh. Sí, así. Tap, ¿qué? Licra. In the top and litra for women or women? For women. Women. Yeah. Women. Así está bien, for women. Porque es bien en general, pero mujer. Yes. Are you buying us, teacher? I will. <laughs> okay. What colors? <laughs> to be defined, is it? To be defined. Yes, of course. For re relaxing at home. Okay. Thank you much. And uh, who is who is writing? Eh, Rebecca. Rebecca, I suggest uh -huh. that the I suggest an enter after a teacher sport. Teacher sport, uh -huh. teacher sport, and enter. Enter. You enter. Um, yes. Uh, the specification only only write a next with capital letter, initial capital letter. Next. Yes. 
Um, other other enter after B. Next B. Ah. Oh. Next B. Yeah, I looking for the information and not find. So uh, we can use the the, the information that find Carla. Carla's information. Hey. That's right. Can you repeat, Carla, please? Pigmentos. Mm -hmm. Pigments. Cargas. ¿Cómo? Cargas. Deletréamelo. Son materiales sólidos como eh, carbonatos. Mm -hmm. Resinas. Ah, because it's for the construction, right? Right. Resinas. Mm -hmm. Diluyentes. Y aditivos. Pigmentos, resinas, diluyentes y aditivos. Cuatro. Sí, sí. Ok. Pigmentos, cargas, resinas, diluyentes y aditivos diversos. Cargas. Ajá. Cargas. Estas resinas, cargas diluyentes, como aditivos. los carbonatos. Como uh -huh. Algo sólido. Ok. En. We can add the pyrethroid synthetics right or synthetic pyrethroids how is it? Mm -hmm. better okay and our, the, synthetic period choices. Okay, and can we use, ¿cómo sería? ¿El envase también va incluido, teacher? Sí. Sí, verdad, tendría que ir incluido. Yeah, yeah. Tendría que ser envase plástico. ¿Cómo podríamos? ¿Cómo se dice envase plástico? A plastic bay. Uh, a plastic bowl. Que sería como un guacal, ¿no? O como que. No. Es un galón, una para pintura. Ah, ok. Mm. Mm -hmm. A plastic base, you can say. A plastic base. Yeah. Ok. And we need to describe the. Um, the brand. Mm -hmm.
tendría que ser un depósito de plástico con una etiqueta de papel. Por ser solo un prototipo. With a paper label. A paper label. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, de hecho así es. <ríe> papel. Ah. Es un papel el que lleva, no es, no es, hay un envase que nosotros le llamamos litografiado, Ajá. pero solamente son los, los envases metálicos, oh. los, los plásticos no, no pueden ir litografiados porque se, se queman. Mm. Oh. The material is too strong. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And... We need to describe the Hello, hello, hello. Material, design, material, material. Okay. Are you ready? Ready, ready? Not yet. <laughs> no yet. So, ¿qué me había hecho? Ahí le coloqué en el mensaje que me va a ausentar por 15 minutos. Lo que pasa es que ahorita solo estoy yo con mi bebé. Ah. Y lo tenía que dormir. Y, y por lo general siempre toma como 15 minutos. 15 minutos, por lo que veo. Uh, sí, se tardó media hora. <risas> Los babies son impredecibles. Sí. This is what we have, teacher. We are going to create our model of a gray hair bottle shampoo. So okay. the material. Well, that bottle is very sophisticated. <laughs> <laughs> so we need to use polyethylene bottle model in the blowing machine. Mm -hmm. But that's the only we had. We were watching a, a video to know how to, to make the model. Okay. Bye bye, la dejo para que sigan. Thank you. Okay. No, 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 no. You can, you can put a line or insert a line after the size for each item. After, up, up, okay, after design, no, yes, you can fabric, put or write fabric. Fabric, how do you say those puntos, teacher? Uh, semicolon. semicolon. No, it's a punto y coma, espérame. Sí. So a point, le dije yo. <laughs> <laughs> Two points. Fabric, I, there you can wear rights um, polyester, cotton, 
tu voice no cree en ustedes. En Jersey. Full stop. Pero full stop es el punto, punto, punto final. Dos puntos, colon. Es... Ah, colon. Dos puntos es colon. Colon. Es colon. Y, y el punto y coma es semicolon. Colon. That is logical. It's semi, semicolon. Semicolon, sí. Yo me acordaba de los dos puntos. Oh, yes. pero, pero si usted lo pone en el Google, el Google le dice two points. No. Sí, literally. It's, it's two points. Yo le dije two points. No, pero lo mismo me dijo Google. Two points. Two points. It's Polyester Coron Jersey. Ok. <laughs> Jersey and Jersey, but specific detail. Fabric the same. Short and yogurt, polyester, cotton and jersey, cotton and jersey. Is correct to say shield, teacher? Is correct to say shield for a team? A sport, uh, a sport team. Sear. Sear to make reference at the picture that identify. The front shield. What do you mean by sear? Para decir que lleva en el frente impreso el logo del equipo. Ah, el logo. You say logo. Entonces. Uh -huh. Logo, ok. The logo of the team is printed on the front. Pues sería como prime, en oh, front okay. sería como team logo. The printed logo on the front. On the front, the printed logo. Printed. Printed. Logo. Ajá. Uh -huh. In the back, the number and name. Uh -huh. Ahí está. Yes. You're making a jersey. Licra, ahora licra. Licra for women. Lycra o Lycra? Lycra. 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 Fabric Lycra. What else? What else? Mm. 
the jar, el hilo. Um, hilos. Uh -huh. Hilo. How do you say hilo? Jar. Uh -huh. Women, sweeter. Um, Trill. Trill, exactly. Trill. Your for the glow is jar. Jar. Por suing. Eh, fíjese que por suing le dan este thread, thread o yarn. La dos, da igual. Eh, tela de hilo, linen cloth, coser al hilo, tu suing de flakes, you with the weave. Uh -huh. um, hmm. uh -huh. Beauty is starting. Beauty is to write. It's starting to rain. Start to rain. Oh. Yeah. But yeah. your work, hey, my classmate, your is with, is with white. Is it raining in your house? Jogger is with white. Jogger is? Initial jaw white. Replace J by Y. That, that's W. J. J. Replace the J. Y. Yeah. Joggers. Yes. I see that word. Uh, with J. No. Why? Uh huh. It's J. J. Uh -huh, I see. I see. Okay. Maybe in bots. Hmm. Anything else? Outro. Inside. Creo que solo nos quedaría sacar la lista de. What else? Da, la última parte. This, this is the benefits of building a prototype. Prototype. Ah. Of new product. Is the identify flaws in the process of design. Benefits. Mm -hmm. Benefits prototype. Ajá, de hacer un listado de cuáles serían yeah. los beneficios. Um, Rebecca, Rebecca is waiting. You can you can search a picture of each article and put the image. Can we teach her? Sure. Oh. Hey. Mm, or there is a, a problem menos, with the... A menos que la busquen donde las imágenes son libres de derecho de autor. Okay. Mm. 
is it fine to close the process of signing? Si la hayan donde están libres de derecho de autor, si no hay problema. Sí, que no lleve ningún, no, ninguna palabra, ni ninguna marca, ni ninguna marca de agua. Uh -huh. sí. Identify. What identify? But I'm going to take you out in a minute. One minute. Check it out in identify. Identify. Okay. Vamos a ver. Five minutes. A ver, everybody. A ver, who will be my first volunteer? Volunteer. We teacher, we can do it. Sure. Sure. We were working with Elda, Adriana, Sofia, and Karen Janet. Okay. So the project that we we were we were talking is a prototype of battle gray hair shampoo. Mm -hmm. so we are proposing this kind of battle. Uh, the materials to create the prototype is a plowing machine, a polyethylene, a poly, polyethylene, polyethylene, y la battle model, yeah. And the product, the, the shampoo. And the benefits to to make the prototype, one of the benefits is verify the quality of the product, uh, the packing resistance, and the striking, and if it's a striking product. Okay. So that we have that we have. Okay, thank you, Anna. That was room number. Let's see. Mm, I don't seven. remember. Seven, seven. seven. We need seven. Vaya, number one, David, Grace, and Rosie. Number one, David, Grace, and Rosie. We product is vitamins, only one kit. It is a complete product that contains vitamin E, omega-3, and probiotics for health care. 
features the vitamin help skin care and regulate cholesterol. The flower is lemon and orange. Presentation, it, it is a heart of 30 health, gel caps and pills. It is a kit of three different vitamins. Brainstorms the materials, hearts, boxes, raw materials, uh, vitamins, omega, probiotics, etc. Like the benefits of building a prototype or new products, know the size and shape of the content, treatment, consumption time. It is will allow you allow us to visually understand our project and, the, and its magnitude. Okay. That's it, teacher. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. So if you want to have those benefits, buy Rosie's vitamins. Very good. Thank you, Rosie. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Aha. Uh -huh. Who will be my next volunteer? Next volunteer. Okay, Nubia, Rebecca, Victor, who will chair? Así volunteer, ¿verdad? <laughs> Ahorita, teacher. The product is the cloth, the sport cloth. For example, t-shirt sport. And it be colors is a multicolor, different size. As X is small, a small, medium, large, and X large. And the design for the t-shirt is in the front, printing the logo, and back, number, and name. And material and fabric is is making polyester, cotton, and jersey. Uh, for the shorts, yogurt, and pants, uh, multicolors, the size, the different sides, the range, and the same, a small screen print in the left, left, and elastic wise. And fabric, polyester, cotton, and jersey. Um, top and lycra for the woman, for women. Uh, multicolors and different size in the fabric and lycra. And benefits of building the prototype of the new product is uh, it identify flaw in the process the design, evaluate cost of materials and manufacturing process, to define the price of each clothing and check the quality of the cloth. Okay, great, great. Thank you, thank you very much. Okay, who will be my next volunteer? Jose Alberto, Jose Alfredo, Carla Lorena. Okay, teacher, I'm going to share. Okay. Um, maybe Carla or Jose Alfredo can help me with the read. Hola. Uh, I read. Uh, okay. Our product is anti insect paint. Uh, there is a features that, that paint is a type of interior paint that contains slow proteins, encapsulated particles, synthetic spirit uh, oil that repel and affect the nervous system of mosquitoes and mosquitoes without being harmful to people. Its effectiveness is produced by, by direct contact with mosquitoes and they are 
on the line, on the surface where the paint has been applied. The proper use of this paint is indoors, not outdoors, and not in places where food is directly prepared. It anti-mosquito function lasts approximately one year, so it is suggested to repaint it every year to preserve its effectiveness. Continue with the benefits. Okay. Uh, materials needed, uh, pigments, resin, thinners, various additives, border, synthetic pyrethroid, Plastic base. I suppose no, the most. <laughs> <laughs> uh, paper label with the image of an insect enclosed in a circle. The brand name is of product. The color manufacturing, manufacturing date instruction for preparation and application. Um, okay. This list of benefits avoid errors. Uh, it has a chance of potential customers. Uh, think possible uh, for enforcing enforcing problem. That's all, teacher. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you. I guess that was the last group. Let me see. See. That was the last one. Okay. Patricus. Okay, let's go for the attendance, right? Eh, Adriana Sofia. Present teacher. Ana. Good evening. Good evening. I'm here. <laughs> Ana Grisel. David. Present. Diego. Edwin Mauricio. Present teacher. Elda Cristina. Present teacher. Ilmer. Grace Michelle. Yvonne Marcela. Present teacher. Okay, Yvonne Marcela, Jennifer, Elizabeth, no, no. Eh, Jessica Lisette, Jose Alberto, present teacher, Karen Janet, present teacher, Carla Lorena, present teacher, Lisette Dayanara, present teacher, Nubia, Present teacher. Rebecca Marcela. Present teacher. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Victor. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Adriana Marcela. Jose Alfredo. Present teacher. Okie dokie. Bueno. Ahí está. My chair again. As I promised, today we're talking about vocabulary related to a product online, right? But before we go to the vocabulary, let's go with the conversation check. Number one, we have Diana here and Tom talking. Uh, the new accelerator, the new accelerator has been like to be produced. Repeat, the new accelerator has green light to be produced. Accelerator. 
accelerator, yes. Great, I think one best choice is to hire steel masters. Great, I think our best choice is to hire steel masters. So they build a good prototype to help us spot any flow. So, so they build a good prototype to help us any flow. Any flow. Even identified in the design. Having identified in the design. I agree, Tom. I agree, Tom. I agree, Tom. The prototype will help our manufacturers to be very accurate with the design. The prototype with the design of the handlebars. With the design of the handlebars. The frame and the saddle. The frame and the saddle. Which are the innovative features of the accelerator. Which are the innovative features of the accelerator. Good point. Good point. Good point. Good point. Good point. Good point. In addition, Good point. the prototype will ensure communication is clear. In addition, the prototype will be communication is clear. They will know exactly what we want. They will know exactly what we want. Totally. Then I'll work on the sketch of the parts. And you might want to start with the description and the specifications of each. And you might want to start with the description and the specifications of each. So still masters start working. So still masters start working. All right. All right. All right. Well, I want to volunteer with the conversation. One, one to be Diana and the other one to be uh, Tom. Who Me wants to be sure. Diana? Diana, Nubia, and Tom? Me. Okay. <laughs> José Alfredo, dele, dele, José Alfredo. Vaya, José Alfredo, okay. you are Tom, and Nubia is Diana. And then okay. we will have Ana will be Diana and Jose Alberto will be Tom. But go ahead. The accelerator has green light to be produced. No, we need to work on the prototype. Great. I think our best choice is to hire steel masters so they will a good prototype to help us spot any flow we haven't identified it in the in the design in the design design i agree tom the prototype will help our manufacturer to be very accurate with the design of the handle bars the frame and the saddle which are the innovate innovative innovative future of the accelerator good point in addition, the prototype will ensure communication is clear. They will know exactly what we want. Totally. Then I work on the sketch of the parts and you might want to start with that description and a specification of each. So a steel master start working. All right. Okay, thank you, Nubia and Jose Alfredo. Now, Ana and Jose Alberto, go ahead. Okay. okay. The accelerator has green light to be produced. Now we need to work on the prototype. Great. I think our best choice is to hire steel masters. So they build a good prototype to help us spot any flow we haven't identified in the design. I agree, Tom. 
the prototype will help our manufacturers to be very accurate with the design of the handlebars, the frame and the sandal, which are the innovative features of the accelerator. Good point. In addition, the prototype will ensure communication is clear. They will know exactly what we want. Totally. Then I'll work on the sketch of the parts. And you might want to start with the description and a specification of each. So still master, start working. All right. Very good, nice. Now let's go to do the exercise. This time I'm not going to send you to practice the conversation groups. Um, check the questions. What are two reasons the Ananto mentioned to build a prototype of the accelerator? Next question. What are the distinctive features of the new product? Angle number three. What are two tasks? What two tasks will the Ananton do before ordering the prototype to steel masters? Go ahead. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes for you to answer, and then we will check. Are you ready? Yes, no teacher, not yet. Okay. Not yet. Okay. Let me know when you're finished. Mm.
Mm -hmm. Are you ready? <laughs> Are you ready? Estamos listos to check. Are you ready? Yes. Sí, verdad? Yes. I cannot. Only three questions. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Yes, teacher. It's okay, because question it's number one. It's raining hard here. Vaya, question number one, ready? Yes. Hello. Yes, yes teacher. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Vamos a ver. The first question says, what are two reasons Diana and Tom mentioned to build a prototype of the Excel later? Mm? I think uh, when Diana say the prototype will help our manufacturers to be very accurate with the design of the handlebars. Mm -hmm. But the main and the first uh, reason is that uh, that the product has green light to be produced. Uh -huh. It has green light to be produced. Uh -huh. To spot any flow that they haven't identified in the design? Exactly. See, one is that you have the green light and the other one is that you want to spot any flow, right? That, <clears throat> that probably in the design it passed, you didn't notice, but when you make the prototype, you can find it. What are the distinctive features of the new product? The frame and the saddle, saddle. Yes. Mm -hmm. The handlebars too, right? Yeah, because they are the innovative uh, features. What to tasks? will Diana and Tom do before ordering the prototype to steel masters? What two tasks will Diana and Tom do 
before ordering the prototype to the steel masters? The sketch of the parts. Uh -huh. And start with the description and the specification of each. Exactly. They want to start with the description and the specifications and a sketch, a sketch the parts. Okay. So the steel masters know what they have to do, right? Perfect. Very good. Now, let's move to this. Check this vocabulary. Um, what does it mean? A conveyor belt. What is bulk production? What is manual labor? And what is machine hours? What do they mean? Okay, I'm going to send you here. I'm going to send you to the groups, but I'm going to make four groups, okay? A group number one, you will go to investigate about what is conveyor belt only, okay? Group number two, you investigate what is bulk production. Group three, you investigate about manual labor. And group four, you investigate about matching hours. And then you come and check with the others, okay? So I'm going to give you in the rooms about five minutes. Let me make the groups. I'm going to make only four. There you go. Try to join. Aha. Uh -huh. Check, check if you can join, eh, Stephanie. Trenta. Mm -hmm. Conveyor belt. Yes, that's yours. Conveyor belt. Conveyor. You have bulk production, right? Yes, bulk teacher. production, great. Bulk production. Este José Alfredo, no sé si está así, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, sí. Claro que sí, teacher. Ah, Acá. Sí. Page number what? 30. No, 29. No, teacher. 30. No, 30. 30. 30. Ah, va, ok. Number two, book production, bulk production. Yo que busco en Cambridge, teacher, y no me aparece el concepto que necesito. Métase, ponga este lo que busca, meaning, y de ahí busque un dictionary. Oh. Siempre en Cambridge, directamente. ¿Sí? Eh, no, así en Google, ponga eh, bulk production, meaning. Sí, okay. no, meaning. Y de allí escoja cualquiera de los diccionarios que le aparece. Ok. Hi, hi, you're with manual labor, right? Yes. Perfect.
Hi, hi. Hi, teacher. We finished, teacher. Finish, perfect. <laughs> yeah. Eso, sí, por eso le di una palabra a cada uno, porque así es más rápido y todos compartimos todo. Vámonos. Okay. Pues. Let's go, let's go. I hope everybody finished. Yeah. Yeah, right. Let's go. Bueno, y aquí todavía la plataforma nos va a dar un minuto. Ok, vamos a ver. Conveyor belt, what is conveyor belt? José Alberto. Ok, um, the conveyor belt is like a, a machine with a band for um, moving or transport objects uh, uh, in different directions, but uh, with a minimal effort. Definitely. If you have a conveyor belt, you don't have to be carrying the things, right? You just put them there and they move. Nice. Bulk production, Rosie. Bulk production, related to bulk production. Bulk products means licensed product supplier in a form other than finished product, which can be converted into finished product. Okay. So that's pro that product that you still have to work. <clears throat> it's not finished, right? Right, teacher, not it's finished. It's not finished product yet. Manual labor, who was it, David? Sí, ¿verdad? David is driving to uh, Nubia. Ok. Yes. Manual labor. Manual labor is a uh, manual work. It's physical work done by humans in con contrast to labor by machine and working animals. It is most literally work done with the hands and um, by figu figurative figurative extension it is work done with any of the muscle and bones of the body work made with your hands right no machine but hands and the last mm -hmm. one anna machine hours Yes, teacher. I am just moving this. A manufacture a machine hour is a measurement used to apply factory. Teacher, como la dejo solo en vista de usted chiquitita. No solo digamos. No comparta. Ah, okay. <laughs> que no puedo leer. Hala, hágala grande, como no me está compartiendo, no hay problema que la haga la letra grande. Ah, sí, cierto, vea. Ay, Dios mío, va. <laughs> a machine hour is a measurement used to apply factory overhead to manufacturers goods. It is most applicable to machines intensive environment where the amount of time can be processed by a machine in the largest activity upon which overhead allocation can be based. Okay, so here the base of the work is the machine, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. 
Any questions so far? <laughs> questions. Yes. Uh -huh. I I read the information, but I didn't get the whole meaning picture. Of the machine hours. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What is a machine hour? Who wants to explain, Anna? I understand that is a measurement. What is a machine? A machine. Uh, it is a... Uh, a machine. Huh? What is a machine? Ah, es la que mide el tiempo de en el que un producto se está. Realizando. No. Vaya, check. Eh, an hour of one machine's operation or an amount of work equivalent to this, that's an hour during which a machine operates or could operate. So you say, well, and now I'm a machine hour. I'm, my machine is going to work for one hour. See? So that is an hour of one machine's operation. Imagine that you don't have the machine, but you have to hire a machine hour because you don't have the equipment, right? But somebody else will lend you the equipment for you to work. So you rent the machine for one hour. You make the machine work only that hour because that's the hour that you have rented it and the one that you will pay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's an hour during which a machine operates or could operate. What about the others? Any question about the other words? Uh, the bulk production. Bulk production. What is bulk production? Rosy was telling you that that is a, the time, the product that is not finished yet. Yes. Escribiendo NOLC. <laughs> bulk production. That is the final product. The bulk production is the final product being produced based on the actual order requirements. El producto final. Yes. So the final product being produced based on the actual order requirements. What, which are the requirements? It's like the, the, the order. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Some. Exactly. Vamos a ver another definition. Check. It says the bulk production can, however, also merely be a cellophane wrapped stack of CD rays without the spindle. So it's almost finished. But remember what it tells you according to the previous definition is that it is depending on what we, or the orders that we have, right? 
Vamos a buscárselos en Spanish para que me les quede más, más claro. Es la producción en masa. O sea, usted empieza a producir como a granel le llaman también. Right, that's the bulk production. So you make a, lot, a big quantity of the production. Hoy sí, ¿verdad? <laughs> Sometimes we have terms that are like a, totally new for us. What is a bulk production? Mm -hmm. What is bulk production? Uh, teacher, but uh, in the first definition, you say, or oh, you say, say uh, is the is the final product. Pero depending on the depending on the orders it said, right? Vamos otra vez a esa definición, pero me quiero ver cuál era. Esta creo. But it says that it refers or symbolizes the amount of the production. We're talking about the amount of the production. Here we have another definition. Bulk production is the production of the product in bulk. O sea, es la producción del producto en masa, en una gran cantidad. O sea, sí ya está terminado, right? It is common in the manufacturing industries where the products are not customized. O sea, no están, ¿cómo decirle? Di diseñado, personalizados. And the consumption is ensured. Examples are pharmaceuticals, paper, even the production of motorcycles and cars can be included in this. So, ya el producto está terminado, pero se, se, se hace en una cantidad tan grande porque no va personalizado. O sea, no es un producto, por ejemplo, los cell phones. Cuando hacen los cell phones, todos son iguales. De aquí depende su suerte que le sale alguno con defecto de fábrica, como el mío, eh, que se salió con defecto de fábrica y tuvo que ir a reparación. Pero todos son iguales porque los producen en masa. And that depends on the, the line production, remember? We're producing everything, uno después del otro, uno, 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 uno. But they, when we say that bulk production, they are produced in big, but big quantities. So if I buy a blouse that was produced in a mass production or in a bulk production, I may go to the corner and I may see another woman wearing the same blouse, right? And crossing the street or getting to my job, I can find somebody else wearing the same blouse because it was produced in a bulk production. O sea, fue hecha así en masa, en cantidades, sin personalizar, no, cuando, no como cuando usted manda a hacer su ropa hacia su medida, que es personalized, right? O customized. Pero si es producido, por ejemplo, podríamos decir las t-shirts, las camisetas, que son hechas así en cantidades grandes, que lo único que cambia es el color, pero no están eh, customized, sino han sido personalizadas para, para un cliente en particular, sino que la idea es que salgan entre más mejor, porque se venden en cantidades grandes. Entonces, no hay problema porque las, la, el consumo está, está seguro, pues, ¿verdad? Entonces ya sabe que, que lo va a vender. Yo creo que el ejemplo que nos dan acá son pharmaceuticals, paper, 
even the production of motorcycles and cars. Entonces, cuando uh -huh. usted eh, produce papel bon o papel higiénico, no lo está personalizando. A menos que usted vaya y diga, mire, yo quiero este papel personalizado, ya no se lo van a crear en a bulk production because it will be customized. ¿Sí? Pero si lo quiere papel, la resma de papel bon, va a ir así un montón de los que fueron creados in a big amount, right? And the same happens with the toilet paper. The, they are uh, made or they are produced in big quantities and all the rolls are exactly the same. It doesn't matter which one you take in the store, but they are exactly the same. Yes. Okay, what about the other two terms? No problem with the other two terms? No, but the manual labor is like what you do with your hands, what uh, you see people using their hands to, co to construct or to build something without the use of a machine, but with the use of the hands. And the conveyor belt is what uh, you can see in the, during the production line that they put Well, an example would be of those products uh, where you see the bottle and something is falling on the inside the bottle and then another machine just puts the, the, the cover of the bottle, but they are passing, 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 passing very fast and they are moving in a conveyor belt. Yeah, not a person taking them and moving them from one place to the other point. That imagine that this is the conveyor belt, all this line. So you put the product here, but when you see the product has been moving, 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 moving up to it gets to the end of the conveyor belt, right? And while the product is going here, it can be just being transported or it can be a finishing. Right, so you have candy, you have a box of candy, that's the box begins here, then passing here, some candy fall on the box, another part, there is something, a part of a machine that closes the box, another one that uh, puts some grab into the box, another one that ties this, And the other one that pastes uh, a label to the box. And at the end where the human picks up the box full of candy. I'm finished, right? But that would be the conveyor belt moving here. Like a, like a process. No, but the conveyor belt is the thing that you have here. Like when you go to the supermarket, you put your products ah, here. Yeah, 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 right, see, right. They are moving and then we'll see it, they finish on the other side. So yeah, yeah. This, thing, this thing that is moving the product during the production line, right? The thing that is moving the product is the conveyor belt. Mm -hmm. It's just like for taking your product. Instead of you, imagine in a, in a, small, in a small company, People will take the product, do one thing, pass it to the other, the another person passing, another person passing, pero aquí no. The product is moving on the conveyor belt, ya sea que una máquina le vaya poniendo cosas, cerrándolo, engrapándolo, pegándolo, ¿qué? O que aquí estén las personas paradas y las cosas van pasando en el conveyor belt y las personas aquí le van poniendo lo que necesitan. Sí. Entonces, es una forma de acelerar el proceso de producción, que es la producción en línea. Empieza aquí, sigue, 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 sigue. Y, y, y cada vez que el producto va avanzando, alguien le va haciendo algo. ¿Verdad? Estaba aquí el botecito solo, alguien le agrega las vitaminas, otro le pone el tapón, otro le pega el label que no tenía. Y al final el otro lo agarra 
y lo mete en una cajita o, o lo va poniendo en grupos de seis, en una caja grande, lo que sea. Pero esto, esta cosita que va acá, donde el producto se va moviendo, que no soy yo el que lo va agarrando, se lo voy pasando al otro, sino que va avanzando. Este es el conveyor belt. Teacher, ¿Sí? are, you, are you sharing an image? No. Sí. Sí, ¿verdad que sí? A mí me aparece que estoy compartiendo. No, I don't, I don't watch you. De, de, la pantalla es nada más. Yo sí puedo ver. The page, the series, the... El conveyor belt, the page, the manual, manual. Manual. belt, boil production, manual labor. Eso es lo que le estoy compartiendo. Ah, yeah. okay. es que sí. I saw, I was watching you moving your hand and so I, I was thinking that you were no, showing no, us le estoy, le estoy moviendo el mouse, pero no sé si lo logran ver si están en cell phone. Ah. <ríe> Yo creo que le hago el movimiento con la mano. No, so sorry, avanzando, 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 así. <ríe> ok, vaya, no sé si ya les queda claro esta parte, sí. Yes. Yes, yes, teacher. Thank you. Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Tomorrow, we continue with other parts of the vocabulary that we, fin we didn't finish, right? Talking about the steps of the production for a shampoo. And we are also going to talk about this other vocabulary that we use when we talk about assemble, right? So, That's all for today because it's about time to go and sleep. Bueno, para ustedes. <laughs> it's about time to go and sleep. Okay, vamos a ver. For you, because for me, no yet. Vamos a ver. Tell me present. Hoy sí lo voy a dejar ir temprano porque siempre les quito unos minutitos. Vamos a ver. Let's see. Eh, Adriana, Sofía. Present. Ana. Present. Ana Grisel. No está. Ana. Se nos perdió, pero ¿verdad que ahí estaba? Me pareció verla. Yo sí, teacher. Ana Valle. No, pero ¿verdad que estuvo Ana Grisel con ustedes hace un ratito? No, no sé. ¿Con quién estuvo trabajando Ana Grisel? Recuerdo haberla mandado a algún grupo. No, no estuvo. Bueno, entonces le vamos a poner cero. Ok, David. Diego. Presente, cero. Okay. Todavía no. Todavía no. no. Qué tremendo. Más que ella empezó a llover. Sí, pero ya pasé por lo menos. Sí. Vamos a ver. No veo a Diego. No. Va, es que bueno. Por lo menos ya, ya pasó lo más difícil. Yes. Edwin Mauricio. Edwin, Elda Cristina, present teacher, Elmer Fabricio, Grace, Ivonne Mar present teacher, Ivonne Marcela, ya no volvió, ¿verdad? Ok. Eh, Jennifer Elizabeth, Jessica Lisette, José Alberto, present, Karen, present, Carla Lorena, present teacher, Lisette Dayanara, present teacher, Nubia Zulema, present teacher, Rebeca Marcela, present teacher, Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Victor. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Present teacher. Adriana Marcela. 
Karencita, ojalá pudiera conectarse más temprano mañana. Sí, teacher, lo que pasa es que por el tráfico estaba bien bien tarde y en el camino no me agarro con los datos. ¿tú? Oh. Pero ya mañana me conecto más tarde a las ocho y diez. Ok. Adriana Marcela. Adriana Marcela. Adriana Marcela, no here. No, ¿verdad? ¿Estuvo con alguien? Me pareció haberla visto por allí. Eh, José Alfredo. Present teacher. Nice. Bueno, oh, ¿quién se queda con Minko Nubi? No, ¿qué dijo hoy? Mm, le sé Dayanara le to. <ríe> Ay, Nubia, mañana. <ríe> Casi le digo Nubia. Ok, le sé Dayanara today. Nubia, tú. Ok, mañana. Sí, tú moro. Mañana es mi día. Así se va mentalizando. <ríe> bueno, see you. Have a nice night. See you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye, everybody. Good night. Take care. See you. See you. Hi, Lisette. How are you? Hi, teacher. Hi. How are you? Hay más o menos algo ocupadita con el trabajo. Gracias a Dios hay trabajo. Exactly, exactly. There is no way, right? <laughs> okay, tell me, do you have any questions about the topics we have been working? Mm, for the moment, no, teacher. Eh, realmente tengo que repasar un poquito las clases de esta semana porque sí, he estado un poquito desconectada. Sí. How are you doing with the platform? Uh, fine, uh, finish. You finished, okay, perfect, perfect. Vamos a ver, I was watching. Oh, bueno, I can see the list here. Vamos a ver. Liseta ya nada. Oh, sí. Eh, pero me debe el examen, ¿verdad? Uh, ah, no. No, si usted me... <risa> Solo me le falta el examen final o ya lo hizo también. Ya lo hice. Ah, muy bien, muy bien, muy bien. Ah, pues sí, ya, sí, ya puede, tranquila. Me bien. quería quitar ese estrés. Es <risa> true. It's true. It's better to finish. If you can do the exercises, perfect. So like that, you, you don't have to worry like, you're very busy later and you don't have time to do it right mm -hmm. yes, because if no the last day i'm calling people and say hey you still owe me something you have to finish <laughs> <laughs> and like that you'll be like okay i don't have to do anything i already finished that's nice 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 well tomorrow we'll be getting a new topic related to grammar right uh, yesterday we had the review of the two topic of the two grammar points that we had during this unit, unit number two, that we were talking about a uh, subject verb agreement. That's very important because sometimes we tend to use the subject in plural and the verb in singular or the opposite. So that's uh, really important to, to watch and to see what's the matching, right, of the subject with the verb. And the other was coordinating conjunction. I was mixing yesterday all the coordinating conjunctions. So, because the, the book only says of addition at the beginning, right? But later on it says, okay, work with all coordinating conjunctions. So that's why I'm mixing like the most important ones that we tend to use, right? To make contrast, to make addition, to talk about result, cause and effect. 
those are like the ones that we regularly use in normal conversation. And sometimes we don't notice that we're using them, right? Or when we're talking about addition, we tend to use and, 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 and that's not the only conjunction. We also have uh, the other ones that are uh, transitions, right? The ones that help us add more and more and more ideas without saying only and. So you may have more, more choices and more opportunities. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you have any question about today's topic? No, teacher. No? Okay. Well, I imagine a... This is not your first course with us, is it? Um, no, number two. That's number two. Ah, okay. So you already, you already got the rhythm, right, for, of work. <laughs> yes? Yes. Mm -hmm. You have the rhythm. Very good. And, it, well, you know, it's very important to, to get active all the time as possible, right? And to join and share with the others. Uh, because as much as you can practice with your partners, you're getting more confident. Sometimes mm -hmm. when talking in front of every, everybody, people tend to feel a little bit shy. <laughs> in the small groups, it's like, okay, now I, I am free. I can say whatever because we're only three. With only four people, it's not the big amount of people that will make me chai. Okay, so congratulations. Continue working, right? Continue working hard and joining uh, the groups and sharing as much as you can because that's what's going to help you grow. Grow more in the knowledge and grow more with the language. Okay, try up, Wins. I let you go to sleep. I know you're tired. See you tomorrow, Lisa. <laughs> yes, teacher. See you tomorrow. Primero Dios. <laughs> yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Have a nice day and a nice Good night. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.